Hey guys, ready to jump on some Forza? Which game are we playing? Because there are quite a few Forza games floating around. What do you think, you moron? Well, supposedly Forza Horizon 1 is meant to be good. We're not in the fucking Stone Ages, mate. Obviously we are playing the new one. Aren't we playing Forza Motorsport 2? No Hammond, you pillock. Even the invention of fire came after that game. So which car is everyone choosing? I'm choosing the all-new Stingray Coupe, with the sleek aerodynamic lines, the low-slung body, and that aggressive front end. It's enough to make any petrol head's heart skip a beat. Oh, pish posh, Jeremy. Really, May? What car did you choose, then? I chose the GR Supra. We all know the Supra has a long and illustrious history. It's a sports car that's been around since the late 1970s, and it's always been known for its performance and handling. Guys, this is not fucking Top Gear. You don't need to explain every detail of the car you are driving in a video game. OK, Hammond, which car did you choose then? I'm driving the all-new Ford Bronco. The Bronco has been around since the 1960s, and it's been a staple of American car culture ever since. This is a vehicle that's been put through its paces, and it's come out on top every time. Hammond, you tiny man. Not only did you tell us not to explain our cars, but you chose probably the worst car imaginable. You had the choice of a Corvette Stingray, GR Supra and a Ford Bronco, and you chose the rubbish brown rice eco car. All right, chap, stop fluffing around. We need to do a race. Can't right now. The bloody Rosas are chasing me. James, you idiot. There are no police in this game. You are probably thinking about need for speed. Oh, cock. Why the hell is this AI so quick? I can't keep up. Hammond, I don't think that's an AI. Then who the hell is it? Dear God, is that the Stig? Which one of you Muppets invited him? God, it even sounds like him. James, given your history, I wouldn't be surprised if you invited him just so you could win. I didn't fucking invite him, you witless dishcloth. Well, who did then? That would be me. Jesus Christ, Chris, how long have you been here? I've been here for a while now. Can you piss off, Chris? Original Top Gear cast only. Fuck you guys, the new Top Gear is better anyways. The new Top Gear is far from better. Have you seen the reviews, Chris? That's what I thought. Fine, Stig, I guess you can stay. You just can't be in any of our races unless you're playing on my team. Who the hell is behind the wheel of this centenario? That would be me, Jeremy. Never mind, that would explain a lot. What is that supposed to mean? Well, given you like to spin cars off cliffs, Hammond, he's indicating you are a rubbish driver. Yes, James, I think that's abundantly clear. But James, it could easily be you too. Need I remind you of the Norway incident? You are a petulant child. Hammond! What, Jeremy? If you want to drive like a loony, go to the back of the race, you moron. Stop getting in my way, you buffoon. You drive like a paraplegic runner. Hammond, you fucking imbecile, stop running into me. How are you guys so far back in the race? The Stig and I are at first and second. Maybe if I didn't have a little mosquito of a man hitting me off the road, I would be there too. You know what stuff you, Jeremy? That's it, you blithering idiot. I'm kicking you from the convoy. Oh no, don't kick me from the convoy. Piss off, Hammond. Really, guys? That's how it's gonna be? Yeah, I'm sick of your shit. Go learn how to drive and you can join back. Fine, I'll go do some chores for Mindy. Fuck Mindy. Oh no, you didn't, Jeremy. You know what? Fuck Clarkson's farm. How dare you? I love that farm. You know I've never understood that show. You just mope around acting like a farmer and slowly destroy poor old Caleb's farm. Gerald is pretty good, though. Don't understand a word he is saying, but good chap. You know, Hammond, I actually like that show. Some of the banter reminds me of the good old Top Gear days. God, we got up to some mischief. Yeah, we really did. Remember that time I backed into Clarkson in Africa? That's probably one of the loudest times he's yelled my name. Or that time Clarkson flipped that silly three-wheeled car. I'll never forget that. You know what, Hammond, you can join back. It isn't the same without the original three Top Gear lads. Does that mean I should leave then? Jesus Christ, Chris, I thought you left. No, that was the Stig. Oh, that makes sense. Anyhow, piss off, Chris.